Welcome back everyone to Easy Freezer Meals. Today we have got a delightful episode and I'm excited that you could join me because you're going to help me get over my illogical fear, crust stump phobia, if you're not sure what that is. That is the fear of pies or making pies because I'm not very good at it. But I'm going to work through this fear and hopefully by the end of this video we're going to have an easy freezer dessert. The first thing you want to do is pick a squash or a gourd or a pumpkin. Sweetie pie pumpkin works great. Butternut squash would make for an interesting pumpkin pie. Just stay away from the jack-o'-lantern type. Roast it at 425 until you could stick a knife in and it just goes in effortlessly. Once that happens, take it out of the oven, scrape the seeds and that fibrous pulpy stuff, and you'll be left with the meat and the skin. Generally, after I roast my pumpkin, I could just peel the skin right off the back and I'm left with 100% of the pumpkin. There's literally no waste. But every once in a while, it gives me a little bit of trouble and I like to have a spoon handy so that I could scrape it and get as much pumpkin as I can because pureed pumpkin can be used for pumpkin pie, pumpkin ravioli, it could be used for Thai pumpkin soup, it could be used for pumpkin bread, it has so many different uses, and it's processed the exact same way. So there's our pumpkin, we're just going to stick that into our Vitamix, crank it on high, and we're going to give it a little stick assistance, but you're going to see what happens right here. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so now we have our pumpkin puree. You can use what you want for pumpkin pie, freeze the rest, or use it all up. It doesn't matter. This freeze is great. So we're going to put that to the side and make our pie crust. We're using ice cold water, butter that's been frozen, some salt, and some flour all purpose. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to really chop that butter up into the flour. You don't necessarily need a food processor, but it sure does make it a lot easier. Using this method allows that butter to get broken up into really fine particles without melting. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us that really flaky crust that we're looking for when we have our pumpkin pie. You can use this pie crust for literally anything, pot pies, whatever you want. And once we're done with that, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have a lot of really finely chopped up frozen butter particles. We have our salt in there already. And we're just going to go ahead and begin adding ice cold water. And the trick to making the perfect pie crust is to not add too much water. So we're just going to start with a, a tiny little bit, maybe a half a cup, a little less than a half a cup. And I'm going to slowly start to work my dough until it just barely comes together. As soon as it barely comes together, and I think I might have used the total of one cup of ice cold water, uh, this is what it's going to look like. And now we're just going to put it in the fridge. We want to let it rest in the refrigerator for anywhere between three hours to overnight. And trust me, this makes all the difference in the world. You don't want to use your pie crust immediately. This is also another thing that you can make ahead and freeze and just pull it out of the freezer when you're ready to use it. With our puree out of the way, the crust out of the way, it's time to make this delicious pumpkin pie batter and it's really easy. All we're going to do is we're going to start with a base of eggs and we're going to make sure that we whisk those really well. So once those are really whisked together, we're going to go ahead and add our sugar. Now I'm going to be using a combination of turbinado sugar and some dark brown sugar. We're going to whisk that really good and time for our seasonings. So right here, you can get really crazy or you can go traditional, whatever you want. It's up to you. I'm going to throw a little vanilla in there because I love it. Notice after each addition of an ingredient, I'm going to whisk it until it's well incorporated. And right here, we're going to go ahead and add our pureed pumpkin. Recipe will be posted below for those of you who are interested. Once that's incorporated well, we're going to go ahead and add some heavy whipping cream. And that's it. We're going to whisk this on about a medium speed until everything's well incorporated. It's all uniformed. And then we're going to take it and set it to the side because now it's time to prepare our pie crust. I'm going to take the pie crust out of the fridge, cut it into six portions roughly, and I'm going to begin to roll it out on a lightly floured surface. Once I get it rolled relatively uniform, like I said, this is where I'm not really good, but we're going to go ahead and put it into a pie tin and then do whatever Betty Crocker, Martha Stewart magic you got to make the perfect pie crust. And so once you've got it formed, you're going to go ahead and pour your batter right into it. Fill your pie tins with the batter to roughly about an inch from the top. This is going to rise during the baking process and you definitely don't want it to 
to overflow. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to bake it. And the trick to baking a really great pumpkin pie is to bake it at a high heat for about 30 minutes and then reduce the heat for the rest of the cooking time. And like I said, the directions are gonna be posted below. Once your pies are done baking, remove them from the oven, let them sit on a wired cool rack, and your pumpkin pies are officially finished. Now that our pumpkin pies have cooled, we're going to go ahead and get them ready for the freezer. And to do that, we're just going to wrap them in some cling film, some saran wrap. You can even place that in a Ziploc bag if you'd like. And then we're going to put it inside the freezer so that they can freeze. Once your pumpkin pies are frozen, you could stack them on top of each other, which is going to save you a ton of space. And let's face it, what's better than a stack of pies? So into the freezer they go. And now it's time to see what one of these looks like when we pull it out of the freezer and eat it as a dessert. So here we go. I am pulled one out of the freezer. It's been in there for about four weeks. I put it in the refrigerator so that it can thaw and they thaw relatively quick. All I'm going to do is take it out of my pie tin and slice it. So if you have never made a pumpkin pie from scratch, and I'm not talking about using Libby's can. I'm talking about roasting a pumpkin like you see in this video. It is such a wonderful experience. The, the pie flavor is so much more magnified. The seasonings are so much more fresh and it's just delightful. And so here we go. I've got my pie. This is what it looks like. You can eat it just like this. It's uh, been in the refrigerator for several hours. It's completely thawed and ready to go. But uh, I want to share a little secret because I love a little pumpkin pie with my whipped cream. And there you have it, a homemade pumpkin pie, perfect for whenever you want because it is an easy freezer dessert. I hope you get a chance to make it. And if you do, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching. We've got a lot of new subscribers. I want to say welcome to the channel. If this is the first video that you've watched from our channel, don't forget to sub, like, comment, and share. I'd love to hear what's on your mind. We post videos as often as we can. We'll see you in the next one.